time to make some Mastering Diabetes approved tikka masala. If you love Indian food, this delicious chickpea tikka masala recipe is perfect. We're gonna take one head of cauliflower and break it up into pieces. Take those pieces and dip them in a bowl of garam masala spice. You don't need any oil, just dip the pieces in. This stuff is delicious, you're gonna love it. Set the oven at 375 and bake for 15 minutes. Flip them over and bake for another 15. Now we are going to chop and saute an onion until it starts to become translucent. Again, we don't need to use any oil. Oil is one of the worst foods when it comes to insulin sensitivity. Using veggie broth and spices is a great option. Add in two chopped tomatoes and a handful of fresh cilantro to the pan. Let those saute until the tomatoes appear dry. And coming up next, we will add one tablespoon of the garam masala spice to the pan. And then we will add a can of tomato sauce. And then fill up that can with some water and add that to the pan and let it bubble. Next, we will add one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, one tablespoon of fresh grated ginger, five cloves of fresh minced garlic. Then take half the sauce, add it to a blender, and then re-add it to the pan. Add a can of chickpeas to the pan, and then add the cauliflower. You'll want to turn down the stove temp to a medium low at this point, and give it a good mix. Next, add half a cup of light coconut milk. Light on the coconut milk is important, especially while reversing insulin resistance, but this meal still only contains 11% of calories from fat, which makes it an ideal Mastering Diabetes approved meal. Serve it over a cup of rice. Be sure to add plenty of fresh cilantro on top. It really brings the flavors together. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel because we will be creating a lot more food recipe video content for you.